Hey guys, so you clicked on this video because, well, you're excited about getting what I'd like to say free leads. I'm going to teach you a great strategy to get almost free leads from real estate agents. Let's get started. To our loyal subscribers, guys, thanks a lot for subscribing to the channel. The, the channel's grown way faster than I thought it would. I really appreciate you guys obviously subscribing and then continuing to come back and watching more videos. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I just want to introduce myself really quick just so you know you're getting your advice from. My name is Zach Blankensoff. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a U.S. military veteran and licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I just want you to feel comfortable that I'm someone that's qualified to give you advice on this. All right, so let's hop straight into the video. So if you have not watched our video on how to get leads from insurance agents, and it's almost free leads, I definitely recommend watching that video after you finish this one. Now, I do think getting leads directly from insurance agents are the top dog leads that you possibly could get as a roofing contractor, particularly a residential roofing contractor. but Real estate agents is a close second. Okay, so we're gonna talk about three steps on how to basically land, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna refer to insurance agents basically as customers or a brokerage as customers, and then how to maintain those relationships. So I'm gonna show you the three steps on how we were able to bring on a ton of leads from building relationships with real estate agents. Now, of course, it's not rocket science. Most people that get into the industry know that real estate agents can be a great way to get leads from roofs because there's plenty of people that's selling their house that had hill damage, they never got it fixed, or there's a leak in the roof, they've just had you know a temporary repair, this, that, and the other. And a lot of times people just want an inspection done, and which is another great way to generate revenue. And I'll go over that at the very end of the video, um, just because I, I want you to focus on actually getting the relationship first, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, the different projects that you can land. Okay, so step number one, uh, first off, you need to make sure that it's a real program that you're putting in place, whether you're a one-man show and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, which is obviously, a great way to make a lot of money is building relationships with insurance agents and real estate agents, especially if you're by yourself, because uh, it's just a lot less door knocking that you're gonna have to do. Um, but the number one, the number one thing, guys, first is, is make sure that you put this into a program and then follow these steps to make it, make it successful. So whether you're one person by yourself or you're going to introduce this to your entire company and your entire sales staff to start doing, you guys have to coordinate together so you're not calling the same people, you're not trying to set up meetings over the top of each other. It's a coordinated effort. Okay. So step number one is cold calling. Now. What I always recommend doing is trying to call cold call into the brokerages first. So you want to get um, you want to be able to get in front of 20 real estate agents or five real estate agents versus try to pick them off one by one. So what you need to do is whether it's Merrimack or um, um, Remax or uh, you know whatever whatever real estate agency it is that's out there um, that you're wanting to that you're wanting to sell to, find those brokerages. And call them up. Don't do drop-ins on all these people because you're just going to burn a lot of gas and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to just talk to people. You want to set meetings, okay? So you want to cold call to set meetings. So all you do is go on Google and you'll look up your all of your brokerages in your area that you're operating in, and you're just going to start calling. And you can use the same kind of script every time. This is basically what I would say. Um, like, hey, this is Zach Blingensop. I'm with Digital Roofing Innovations. Are you guys uh, do you have any active roofing contractors that you guys recommend for your roofing work when you're going to sell houses or you're helping a homeowner purchase? And they'll most of the time they will say yes. Yeah, we have we have a couple of uh, roofing contractors that we work with. Uh, but if they don't, we'll say, hey, listen, I, th I really think there's uh, an opportunity for us to uh, help your brokerage and help your agents out. Is there when it, when is the next time that you guys are having a team meeting? And they say, well, you know, it's the 20th of January, whenever the next team meeting is. 
But what you want to do is talk to the person who owns the brokerage and you want to be able to, again, you can do this before or after, but this is still during your cold call. You want to be able to set an appointment to be able to, if you can't talk to all the agents at once, at least talk to the owner of the brokerage. So that's the number one person you want to get. Because if you try to sell to um, individual agents, it's kind of like going into a neighborhood and you can go sell to the HOA and the HOA may recommend you to 50 different homeowners versus you going and door knocking. It's a lot better off for you to build a relationship with the HOA versus trying to just get one off on different homeowners, right? So again, you're going for the big fish. So what you want to try to do is again, it's set up the meeting with the broker. And if you can, where all the agents are going to be there. And guys, sometimes these agent meetings, you know, you might get 20, 30, 40 people on there. And the fact that, you know, so many people are using Zoom now after COVID, it's easy for you to segue in. You get, you know, five or 10 minutes to pitch what you're wanting to do to uh, the agents. Uh, but the point is you want to, you got to get this meeting set up. Okay. So that's, that's, Number one, you got to set the meeting with cold calling. Moving forward, number two is go to the meeting. And this is, we're going to say, go to the meeting and then close. Everybody knows uh, if you're a contractor or a salesman out there, you know what closing is. And you got to close in this business to get to get sales. But the biggest thing is, guys, this is, even though we're doing business to consumer because, um, you know, we are, you know, selling in this, in this model, we're mainly going to be selling, uh, you know, roofs to residential residential customers, you have to approach this as business to business sales because you are selling to a, a brokerage and they're gonna be your customer. Of course, a homeowner will eventually be your customer, but these, you have to approach these people like your customers. Now, in my opinion, the best way to close these people is when you get the opportunity to get in, the bro in front of the brokerage or the agents, do not brag about your company. I don't care if you do $20 million a year. I don't care if you do $50 million a year. I don't care if you do the best job out of anybody in your town and everybody knows who you are. Don't talk about yourself. Allow them to tell you, because mo most of these agents have roofer buddies or people they know that go out. Now, they, and some of these agents may have a friend that does, but he's a, he's awful at doing the inspections. He never shows up on time. Um, you know, maybe he's done a bad job on an install. There's always opportunities with, with uh, real estate agents. So listen to what they have to say. And that's the biggest thing. They're going to tell you exactly what they need. One of the problems, they may be bad, bad customer service. Maybe the, the, roof, the roofing contractors that they've used uh, are a little rough around the edges and they're wanting a little bit more, you know, uh, a cleaner look for the people that show up to, to do the inspections or to re-roof a house right before the, um, you know, right before they sell it. Or there's an insurance claim. They don't know how to navigate the waters of the insurance claim and they need help with that. But the point is you need to go to that meeting and you need to go with the intent that, and I used to use, I used to use this all the time. This was just a, uh, once I would listen to everything, I would say, you know, guys, um, I really do think there's a, an opportunity for us to work together. I know that, you know, we can deliver on this, this, and this. I've got the staff in place to be able to get out and do inspections a lot of times the same day, uh, particularly if you call us in the morning, but we, we can, we can, all these, pressure points that you have, we can relieve that. And I would always say this, this was my line that, I, I've, I still use this line a lot. Um, and I say, listen, I know you're just gonna give us a shot at first, but make no mistake, I met, I, I set this meeting up because I didn't want a couple of jobs. I, I want, want your, your whole book, book of business. business. And most of the time people are gonna laugh, but I would not laugh back and I would stare dead, dead in their face and I would say, I'm not kidding. I really want your whole book of business. And all it is, it's not, Again, you don't want to say it is like you're cocky and hubris, but let them know that you're hungry and you're ready to work hard. And so is your staff, you know, and if, if this is a meeting you do get and there's other people, uh, some of your top salesmen and stuff like that, they can go. I mean, these, these guys, these, these could be, I mean, nonstop leads if this is a big brokerage. Okay. So in this scenario, let's say um, if you guys watch my video on uh, insurance agents, uh, it's very similar, right? So you set up the cold call, set up the meeting, get the sale, and now it's maintaining the relationship. Now, one of the things that we did different with our insurance agents versus our real estate agents is with insurance agents, uh, putting like a cash referral program together and stuff like that, it's a little tricky. Um, what you don't want is obviously get into insurance fraud. You don't want to get into, into bed with an insurance agent that uh, wants to do things dirty. 
I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to be Mr. Moral Police on this, but I would strongly recommend staying away from any, any type of stuff. And if you're, we already have enough <laughs> problems in roofing, as you guys know, uh, with our reputation. Try to be the shining light and doing the right thing. So anyway, um, one of the things that, again, that we did different is we had actually a real estate agent referral program. And so we basically uh, would get you know names of all the people in the brokerage. If we could mate with the, with the insurance agents themselves, we'd get all their emails and we would send a flyer and I'll uh, attach below our flyer that we actually use uh, to all them. We'd send it electronically and then we would drop some of them off in the office. And it was a hundred dollar referral fee uh, for any time that we did a uh, roof replacement. Um, and obviously you're, if you're in an area like we are in North Alabama, so the profit margins were not just, they're not good enough to offer a lot more than that. But if you're in an area like, uh, you know, Miami or, or Denver or, or Dallas, where you guys are getting larger profit margins, make it juicy to where people are going to want to use you. And guys, I mean, I, I know it sucks. Like if you get 10 lead, if you get 10 leads that close, you got to make it where it's got to be a, a full roof replacement. You're like, man, that sucks. You know, I, I paid out 250, you know, on these leads. But I guarantee you, every single one of you would pay out two hundred and fifty dollars to do a full insurance uh, insurance job roof replacement. Now, again, you don't have to do that. It was just an idea we did. We did a hundred dollars, uh, and it was enough money for the agents to, to catch their eye because most of the other contractors weren't offering anything. So that was just another way that we were able to uh, work out deals. Now, sometimes the brokerage, uh, we had a couple of brokers that said, "We're going to push you, and we want." Basically, you to write that check to us every time, but we're going to push our agents to use you. And uh, either way, as long as I was getting leads, I was fine with it. So that's how you you maintain that relationship. And then, of course, the the one thing about real estate is it's a little bit different than than uh, insurance agents. Is real estate they're rarely all in the office at the same time versus insurance agents. You know, most everybody works in the office. The agent may not be there every day, but most everybody, his staff, his or her staff normally is in the office most every day. So you, so doing the, the schmoozing on, you know, bringing in donuts and stationery, you can still do all that. Um, and watch our other video on what I talk about making care packages. But what you, what you really want to do is again, maintain that relationship with the broker and then maintain a relationship with all the agents that are actively using you. Now, there are obviously other agents, but some people you're just not going to flip. Just like homeowners, some people are just not going to like you. Somebody's going to have a buddy uh, that they use all the time or whatever, and you're not going to flip them right away. But the people who are using you, concentrate on keeping them and getting all of their work. And, and every single one of you have bukus of agents that live in your area. So there's no shortage of brokerage and, uh, brokerages and, and, and agents that you can sell to. Well, guys, listen. I, I I know that I may have been a little <laughs> little too thorough with this, but it, it's important. These, these programs will absolutely revolutionize your business if you just give it a chance. Now, again, you have to have a strategy in place and you have to stick to it. If you have a bad meeting with one uh, real estate brokerage, you can't think this is the last one. It's just like you door knocking and you getting one bad homeowner that says no. But guys, I, look at me. I, I promise, promise you. you I know there's a lot of people who make a lot of money just going out and door knocking, but if you want to learn how to bring in leads that are almost free, because you're not really paying for these, right? You may pay your hundred dollars for your fee or whatever that you work out, but it is so much smarter to work like this than you going out knocking doors every day. Okay. I know there's going to be some guys that hate on me for that. And you've been knocking doors and you've made a lot of money, more power to you. but. I promise you, if you at least split your time, if you're a roofing salesman out there and you split your time between knocking doors and doing this, I promise you, your phone is going to start ringing off the hook and there's going to be less and less times that you have to actually go and cold uh, door knock. As you know, if you get a lead into a neighborhood first and then you door knock around, the odds of you getting a lead or getting more sales are, are substantially higher. Um, but anyway, that's my two cents on it. So last thing I want to talk about is the, the different type of projects that you're going to get from working with real estate agents. Now, of course, you're going to get roof replacements. Now, you also are going to get a lot of roof repairs on people just wanting to get their roof done. So if you're a, if you're a salesman, now, of course, it's going to be up to your owner of the company on how you guys handle business. But I gave my, my salesman had uh, they could do some minor repairs like changing out a shingle, um, changing out a boot. 
but you know, guys, you know, you're still making. A lot of times, you're making 250, you know, 300 bucks on changing out some of this stuff. I don't know what your minimum price is on your repairs, uh, but you can, you know, as even as a salesman, you can make quite a bit of money because a lot of times you're out there anyway, and you can say, hey, the reason it's leaking is this boot. I know you're trying to get it sold. Uh, you're not going to get this covered by insurance, but you know, we can get this fixed for you really quick. That's a great way to to get a lot of additional income, and. You're already out there anyway and it's just gonna get you a referral of business in the future but then also what we did is we put together a i want to say we were charging 250 yeah we were charging 250 for a full roof report and so you're basically doing because obviously there's a um, an appraiser that comes out and then they have an inspector before they sell a property and sell a house but a lot of times these people obviously aren't experts on roofing so we would, you know, put together a uh, like a we'd pull like an Eagle View um, or you know one of the other uh, uh, roofing reports. Um, we would talk about you know how many eight years, years the ages were on the roof, and we just basically build out basically like a roof report uh, for them, and then we would charge like 250 bucks, you know, take you know pictures and stuff like that. But it was another again we're going out there anyway, and instead of offering free inspections for this, we would just charge for. Um, you know, a roof report. And you can start off at a lower number, whatever fits in your market. 125 may work, 150, but it's, you know, you do 10 of a month, it's an extra, you know, $1,500, and it's pretty much all profit, particularly if you find some of these lower end measurement systems uh, versus pulling, you know, spending 50, 60 bucks in Eagle View all the time. Woo! That was a lot of talking. Listen, I know this video ran a little long, but, you know, guys, I really want to see some of you start working a lot smarter than harder. I, I, listen, I know that going out and beating doors is, you can make a, a really great living, but I promise you there, there are there are easier ways to get leads out there. And there's and there's better ways of getting leads for your company than paying these lead generation services. Guys, and if you don't know about my background before I started the company, I actually was the number one uh, digital marketing consultant for the Hearst Corporation, which was the largest digital marketing agency in the United States prior to me starting my roofing company. So I've been on the lead generation side and build out websites and SEO and pay-per-click and all that stuff works. But in my opinion, the number one way to get leads at a low cost in this game is real estate agents and insurance agents. So if you haven't watched my video on insurance agents and how to build a referral program for that, please watch that video. If you do these two things together, I promise you, I promise you it'll transform your business, but you have to stick to it and you gotta put a plan in place and just follow the steps that I took. It's not that I know everything, but with the background I've had on business to business and the fact that it works significantly well for us, it will work for your company too. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I highly recommend doing it, particularly if you are a contractor or a salesman or a roofer out there. We have a lot of great content coming out and I share everything. There's no secrets that I keep. So if you have questions about anything, uh, please let us know here on the channel. And please check us out, check out our website as well at digitalroofingcompany.com and our blog section. We've got a ton of free articles uh, for you guys. Anyway, let's close up. Uh, as always, at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe and in use a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.